Hello, everyone. Welcome to some Realmathon reading sprints. Let us know in the comments what realm you are and what book you're reading. Um, I'm one of the co-hosts for Team Creation. If you didn't know, my name's Hannah, and I'm going to be reading Migration oh, yeah, by Charlotte McConaughey. Oh, so it's a blue book. It's light blue, and it has like birds up over here. So getting all the bonus points. <laughs> um, I know you guys hate introducing yourselves, but I'm going to make you just at least say your name, your realm, and what you're reading. Oh, Can you feel that? God damn it. <laughs> Why do you put me on the spot like this? <laughs> Hello, I'm Cassie. Expect it. I uh, created the whole like readathon that we're talking about, so I'm not actually like a realm leader, but I am their overlord that makes them do everything. <laughs> Uh, I am reading A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen today. I am reading for team creation. So I feel like yeah, I'm on the right side. Very outnumbered. Yeah. Mel is just like out of place here today. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm angry because I don't think it has an animal on the cover, but it is blue. So there we go. There's that. We'll take oh, it. I also read a lot of fantasy on my channel. So my name's Kristen. I'm Hannah's co host for the best Woo. team. So I DNF'd this this morning. If you were on the last words I was on, no good. <laughs> and then I'm listening to Powerless as a Cassidy favorite. And I'm reading When the Moon Hat. Um, Maria told buddy, me I had to read this. This is longer than I normally would pick up. but It's very long, yes. But it reads quite for me. But I, I, blue, there's a dragon. I'll get bonus points for page number. So I'm going for it. That'll be a good point book for you. Yeah, like, I thought. If I don't read it now, when am I going to read it? So, 50, 60, 70? Is there a school setting in that? Mm -mm. No. Well, 70 just from all that. I probably shouldn't be saying this out loud because that feels like a threat. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm Mel from Melina Reads. I am Team Shadows. So, I am very outnumbered today, but that's okay. <laughs> It's fine. I'll just represent by myself. I'm also reading When the Moon Hatched, and it will also get me points because it's black. It has a building on the cover. Oh, yeah. And totally it's very long. Yeah. And theoretically, this is supposed to be finished by tomorrow night. So How far into it are it's you? It's like 700 pages. Yeah, it's 720 so pages. 20 of yeah. that is the um, glossary. glossary. That but I'm 41% in and it says I have five hours left, but I don't know if I like knew I could read all day today and tomorrow, I would be confident, but I, I don't know that I can. So I am therefore mildly optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> also, you introduced yourself wrong. She's not Melanor Reads. She's a Melan Overy Reads. I feel like I should do St. Patty's Day sprints just for that reason alone. Melano rereads St. Patty's Day Bash. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh, first time catching sprints. Fun. Welcome. Lots Fun. of creation in the chat here. Some Team Shadows, Mel. You're not alone. <laughs> Got some Team Blood, Team Time. Hi, Zahar. She's creation, too. <laughs> yes. Little frog. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited to reread it. It's been a while since I've read it. It's It seems like it's not that interesting of a book because it's literally the migration patterns of these birds, these Arctic terns. I'm like, that's the that's the whole point of the book. But it's like so much more than that. It's so beautiful. So it just, I don't know, it just doesn't sound like a fascinating book or like an, mm -hmm. you know, an attention grabbing book, but it's so good. Hoping to finish Throne of Glass during these, and then cast this one's for you. I'll be starting the Will of the Many. I just know you're gonna love it, and if you don't love it, don't tell me. <laughs> just lie, <laughs> lie to me. <laughs> More Team Shadows. Reading Ribbon Knight by Devney Perry. Finish nice. Wait, going to finish Nice Dragons. Finish last. Oh, finish last. Nice dragon. Oh, I've never okay. heard of that, but I <laughs> love that. that. That's interesting. <laughs> um, Kingdom of Ash, the Crimson Moth. See, this is I just oh, I put it on my bookshelf already. It's 
called Heartless Hunter in the United States, but the series is called The Crimson Moth, but like elsewhere, it's just called The Crimson Moth. And I feel like that's going to confuse so many people. That is an interesting that's choice. Everywhere. Wait, did you like it? It's on my list. I liked it. I, read this week. Cassidy, I think you should read it because it does. it's not the same as Powerless, but it like felt like it. Wait, why are you giving me these expectations? <laughs> so I just because like it, it's like it's like a popcorn read, but also that like I don't know. It, I just really it, it reminded me of it. It's like not similar at all in the story, but it just it reminded me of it. But like vibes, okay. I'm here. Yeah, like the reading vibes are the same. Yes, not the book oh. vibes, the reading vibes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Illuminae, Skyward, lots of sci-fi. Crescent City 2 and the Song of the Marked. Animals at Lockwood Manor. Confessions. Is that a thriller? Mm, yeah. It's it's thriller, horror, lit fic all combined into one. Oh, okay. It's interesting. It's the one that's, is it chap the words? Is it translated from Japanese? I don't know. It's translated. I don't know what from, but it's translated. I don't know where from, but it's translated. I think it's, I think it's Japanese. Hi, Christina. Love that book. Some team time. Ooh, lots of team time. Back to back. Enjoy. There's so many comments. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was overwhelmed. <laughs> Ooh, Chain of Gold. I haven't gotten to that series. I always give up on... Cassandra Clare. Like, I've read so many of her series, but I've so never long. tried so Cassandra Clare, and I feel like at some point, I'm going to have to pop my cherry and do it. <laughs> <laughs> pop your cherry. I read the first three in that first series, and that was it for me. I was like, okay. Like, I feel like I can't have a booktube channel that talks about fantasy romance without ever trying a Cassandra Clare. So, like, yeah. I'm going to have to do it at some point, but I'm, I, I'm scared. <laughs> it's true. I liked the infernal devices. Like, if you're only going to read one, that's the one you should read. That's the okay. best one. Okay. Good but, to know. <laughs> um, Queen of Shadows. Oh, that's my favorite one in the series. I hope you're liking it. Team Shadow. Mm. Also trying to get through When the Moon Hatched. Look at that. You guys, That's count that as a buddy read. <laughs> We're powering through. Team Time finishing North Queen. Trying to figure out what to read. Finished Emily Wilde this morning. Did you finish the new one or the like? Did you finish the map? What is it called? Map to the Other Worlds or Other Lands? Something like that. Other Lands, yeah. I haven't read the second one yet, but I loved the first one. Do. After my journal spreads, going to read Come Tumbling Down. That's a good one. Wait, what? Ash, what were you? What team are you on? Because that's a blue book. Creation. I think you said your shadows, though. <laughs> <laughs> Team Creation, reading. Oh, I'm reading A Curious Beginning. I love that book so much. That's the first um, Veronica Speedwell book. It's so good. Mm. And it's blue, and it has animals on the cover. I, like, knew the title, but couldn't place it, and then I just feel like everyone talks about the big Veronica Speedwell. It never talks about the well, title. Yeah, so. they just say yeah. Veronica Speedwell, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, good. I don't know the titles of them. Reading Hex. I love that book. I need to start the Kingdom of Ash reread. I am only 200 pages into my reread and I started it in the beginning of February and then I just haven't, like I read that 200 pages in one sitting and then I haven't picked it up again. I need to finish it. This will determine if I'm rereading. I, after I read Assassin's Blade, I was like, I don't know if I need to reread Corona Glass and Crown of Midnight. I might just go right into the next one. But this week will determine whether I'm reading them or not. Oh, boy. Uh, finished Heartless Hunter yesterday. Reading Bridge Kingdom now. Mm -hmm. Curious Beginning is one of my all-time favorites. Yes, I love the audiobooks for them, too. I'm really excited for the new one. Yes, it's coming out in literally, like, three days. A Grave Robbery is the new Veronica Speedwell. It's the ninth book, and it's literally coming out on Tuesday. I'm so excited. That's exciting. Team time here, hoping to finish a book. 
I don't like, but oh, wait, what? Oh, oh hoping <laughs> like you're currently reading it and not That's liking sweet. it. I'm so sorry. Um, reading Feybound. I've heard so many things about that book, and yet I feel like I know nothing about it. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> like, I, I see it so much, and I'm like, I. why do I feel like I know that book, but like I know literally nothing about it? Kristen, did you say you DNF'd it? I DNF'd it. Why? I tried so hard. I was buddy reading it. Everybody that I was buddy reading with DNF'd it. I wanted to like... I mixed so reviews for sure. Yeah. The tea... I know, and I have the beautiful fairy loot edition and everything, and I wanted to love it so bad. Oh, that's such a bummer when it's like I know. such a pretty, like when you have a pretty edition of it and then you don't end up liking it. It feels like a betrayal. Mm -hmm. like, the book is so pretty on its own that the special editions are like extra, extra like pretty. pretty. Yeah. yeah, like I'm not getting rid of it. It's sitting on my shelves for life. It's not going anywhere, but yeah. Um, team creation reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Sorry, <laughs> look at me being hip about the series that I haven't read. <laughs> um, willing to never attack creation if a three minute sprint happens. <laughs> Carly. Um, I feel like we could make a deal. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like, I don't that. give it to her because then she'll go down to <laughs> two minutes sprint. Yeah, don't really bother everyone for two minutes. She's gone all the way from like 10 down. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, already read nine books this month. You're killing it. Every special edition Melon Cassidy buys. Root of You, I have yeah. Fortune and Prince of Thorns, and I like both of those. Yeah, I see <laughs> two of the other ones. There that are going to him, though, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jonathan, I'm giving these to you. Why are you attacking <laughs> me? <laughs> he said that like three months ago, though, and still hasn't done it. So is she giving them to you? Yeah, I told them they'd come eventually, and now I'm waiting for book boxes to get to me so that I have bubble wrap to wrap them in. Because <laughs> I'm not buying bubble wrap when I have book boxes that'll come with it. But, like, yeah. where are they? <laughs> come. I'm three months behind. Um, Feybound has dragons. It's a five-star prediction, so I have high hopes. Started it, and I'm enjoying it, but not in a fantasy mood yet, so waiting for that fantasy mood. To, yeah, I have to be in the right mood to read certain books. Otherwise, I, like, don't enjoy them, which, like, makes sense. Like, that's not, like, a good revelation at all, but, like, if you're not in the mood for fantasy, just hold I'm off. I count influencing both Kristen and Mel to read when the moon happens as a personal win. Have you read That's that yet, Cassidy? I have not. It uh, will be in my dragon vlog. It won that hmm. flying it's color. Oh. If After you don't like a character with constant one-liners, it will drive you up the wall. But if you're cool with like constant one-liners, then you're golden. I mean, that just explains powerless in one. Yeah. So, yeah, I was right literally there. just thinking, yeah. I'm like, the exactly. one-liners in powerless. It's her, not him. But, yeah. Mm. I DNF'd when the moon hatched. Oh, no. I didn't like it. I'm very nervous. But... Now, don't tell me these things. <laughs> A lot of people said they struggled with the writing style. It does not bother me, but I can see where it would. Starting part three in Words of Radiance. Cassidy, have you continued in Stormlight yet? I feel personally attacked by this message. <laughs> <laughs> I have only read The Way of Kings three years ago and I have not continued yet, even though I gave it five stars. I feel like that's what happens to most people who read the Stormlight mm -hmm. archives. Is like they read one and they're like, oh my God, that was amazing. I can't read to the like wait to read the next book. And then it's like a long it's time before so they long. finally pick it up. Like, look at this thing. And they're like, yeah, Bible yeah. pages. Like, mm -hmm. if it wasn't this long, I would have picked it up. Even though I know I'm going to love it. Just, like, I could pick up, like, five books by the time I read this. <laughs> also, during a readathon, it's maybe not, like, the best one to read because it's so long. Mm -hmm. She'll get there, guys. Give her time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nothing worse than snarky one liners. That's why I warned you. Years on my I know black. It, a lot of it depends. In a fan row, here for it, but I also don't like Handy Weird for that exact reason. So it just really depends. I like Handy Weird. I've only mm -hmm. read two books by him, though, so, but I like both of them. 
Um, just started Butcher and Blackbird for Team Shadow. Nice. I like that one. That was a silly time. Oh, there you go. Summer <laughs> Bunny Ring. <laughs> you might have to hold me to that. <laughs> um, Powerless is by Lauren Roberts, and you should read it. <laughs> I'm just getting into, like, the parts where I can see the Hunger Games parallels for sure. Yeah. But yeah. it's fun. But it's fun. It's a good time. I like that one. All right. Shall we get some reading done? Thank I've got you. 45 minutes for the first sprint, if that's cool with everyone. Mm -hmm. I also changed the little, like, alarm. So it's going to be birds. <laughs> it's like birds okay. tweeting. So <laughs> hope that's okay with everybody. <laughs> All right. See you in 45 minutes.
<laughs> She's looking. My queen has arrived. <laughs> She's still confused. Um, I read a chapter. I really just sat here and did nothing. <laughs> In my defense, it was 9 a.m. So I feel like I was allowed it. <laughs> True. I watched the rest of Cassidy's vlog, and then I listened to a couple of chapters. <laughs> and then I kind of cursed Mel a little bit, but I've moved on. I think Mel and I have beef. <laughs> I really... Mel doesn't need it. From Mel Cassidy's vlog. Because yeah. you... Um, you have to watch I didn't vote in my poll. You oh... Poll. <laughs> I was like, I'm so confused. To be fair, I didn't know what any of the emojis were. I just got lucky no. I didn't vote for myself. <laughs> to be fair, I voted for myself. So I would have never thought that that was, I was like looking at them, I'm like, okay, which one is it creation? I was being very, um, I like, cause the, Mel was voting between herself and creation. So I was kind of yeah. hoping she would attack herself. And then everyone was like, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> that would funny. Um, I read 38 pages, and I wasn't planning to annotate, but I'm going to. <laughs> I just love this book so much. <laughs> you need to uh, do a live stream of your annotation process, remember? Yeah. This one's different, though, because there's no, like, system. It's just... It's just vibes. <laughs> yeah. <'Cause laughs> like, normally like I have, theory. like, a set system. Like, this tab means this, and, like, this is what I'm doing. This one, I'm just... There's no system. I'm just using random tab colors. Like, That's it's all right. over the place. I love it. I read a little. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna get this done. I feel like my brain's not concentrating well, and I'm only at fifty percent. Just reschedule. And I mean, I only have four hours left. So theoretically, if I read two more hours today and two hours tomorrow, I could do it. But just reschedule. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm committed. <laughs> but I may be committed by not finishing the book. Uh, birds is very on brand for creation. I didn't plan that, but I like it. <laughs> I liked the birds. Hi, Cami. Team creation. Read 53 pages, had to stop because the chapter was like seven minutes and we had three minutes left right on the cliffhanger too. Oh, isn't that the worst? Um, read 40 pages and had some lunch. I'm reading Migrations. Um, Mel and Kristen are reading When the Moon Hatched. Mm -hmm. Cassidy's reading Fate Inked in Blood. How far in are you, Cassidy? Two chapters. <laughs> okay. I was going to ask how you're liking it, but I'll I'm wait till you get a little further. I am liking it so far, but um, I like Viking stories. Like, Norse mythology does not always work for me. So, like, I'm nervous for that, but so far I'm liking it. Okay. That's good. I don't know what it is about, like, a Viking story that for some reason I'm always like, mm, I'm not interested. <laughs> 31 pages and DNFing. Going to pick up Girl Forgotten. Yeah, I like the birds. I'm glad everybody else liked the birds. I like the birds. 13% um, into how to solve your own murder. 49 pages of Skyward. Lots of good reading getting done. <laughs> I read two pages and did nothing. <laughs> Finished reading Nice Dragons Finish Last. And then I spent the rest of the sprint deciding my next read. Just joining 260 pages into Flawless. Watch Cassidy's vlog and read 52% in Spy Family. <laughs> the birds confusing people. <laughs> they confuse Bryn. I think I like the birds better than the cat, though. <laughs> I've gotten used to the cat. joined and promptly got distracted by an insta chat that happens to me all the time that's mood uh, 
read 48 pages of The Hollow Dead, 92% into nestlings, and started thinking about, <laughs> I want to attack when I submit. Yeah, I had my first attack. It was not very many points, but it was my <laughs> first attack so far. Um, when I finished Heartless Hunter, I used it to attack. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Did the eagle black shadow wings not make so much sense once you knew? Like, once you knew, they made sense. <laughs> the rest, maybe <laughs> not, but the wings on a bird made sense for wings on shadow. Oh, call out. <laughs> Jonathan, I was reading for your team, so... Um, mm -hmm. Why are you attacking me again? <laughs> like, I'm really just not going to send these to you ever. Um, yeah. Ended up DNFing in the woods and then started Scarred by Emily. Is it McIntyre or McIntyre? I think it's McIntyre. That's how I would say it, but I feel like some people say it the other way, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm an idiot. So, I don't know. <laughs> Emily M. <laughs> Um, read 26 pages of The Assassin's Apprentice. 40 pages of Song of the Marked. Um, do I annotate every book or decide based on vibes? Yeah, I don't annotate every book. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, usually I do if it's like a reread of a favorite um, like I've been annotating the whole Throne of Glass series as I've been rereading them um, and like some random books here and there as I pick them up like for rereads but like this was a reread and it is like a book I love but I had no intention of annotating it I just like read a line and was like how am I not supposed to highlight that like mm -hmm. come on Read 30 pages and got annoyed because The Will of the Many is now being delivered tomorrow instead of today. Oh, sad. Oh, no. So rude. Launch a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> Watched Cassidy's vlog. That's a good That's a good use of sprint time. 24 pages of The Cruel Prince. Working on an arc of for Willowbrook by A.J. Wynn. It's a haunted house romance novella. Mm, Interesting. That sounds, fun. that sounds cool. Woo, 78 pages. That's a lot. Only one chapter left. Nice. Here you go, Cass. 13 pages in. <laughs> Fireborn. Ooh. Just joining... 455 pages into House of Flame and Shadow. Oh my goodness. I'm 25% into Icebreaker, 75% done with Kingdom of Ash, 30% into The Fiction Between Us, and 45% into Illuminate. Oh you got a lot going on. I, I can't hardly, like, focus on two at a time. I just want to, like, read a story all the way through and then move on to another. I'm not a multiple books at a time kind of person. I'm pretty similar. I read one book pretty much. Sometimes yeah. I have an audiobook going at the same time, but I yeah. like to read one book and then the next. This readathon is making me read so much. That's like the best thing about readathons is that they're like so motivating to like keep you going and pick up, keep picking up books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes sense, but trying to crack it would make even a master spy struggle. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I always think I'm like people trying to get into my brain to figure out what emoji is what team to attack. Like I'm just laughing at you. Like just pick one at random because there's probably <laughs> no chance. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> we just messed the last <laughs> thing. Forget the complaint. I'm gonna straight up sue. You go. Everybody's encouraging to go get them. Go off. Using your powers for bookish good. Started 72 books. Oh God. My goodness. Reading five books at the moment. See, I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. Two, I could do two. But, like, more than two, can't handle it. 
read multiple books at a time. I read multiple books at a time because I have a physical book, an audio book, a Kindle book, and a book on my phone at all times. Dang. That's a lot. I usually just do I two. Yeah. I don't really mm-hmm. like reading from my phone. I don't like the like how small the screen is. Like it's not that the words are small, but I'd rather read on my Kindle if I'm gonna read an ebook. Yeah, I'm really bad at like just buying a book in multiple format so that I can read it on all devices all the time. So yeah. that's how I stop myself from I, I have I have a book going on all of those things. It's just the same book. <laughs> Granted, one is a short story collection, so I'm technically only in the middle of four stories. Had two books going, now down to one. It's so crazy. (laughs) (laughs) I always feel like I I run out of things to say in, like, the talking portion. So I'm always, like, I want a long sprint so we can read and, like, do stuff. And then when we get to the talking, I get, like nervous that's fair like i want to speed through everything just so i can get back to the the sprint you want us to be productive yeah oh yeah the the sinking is nice um help me pick my next read dragons or serial killer that's hard dragons dragons i'll always pick dragons My phone book progress is slow because I kind of hate it, but sometimes I forget my Kindle. Yeah, no, it's it's fair if that's like your only, like if you don't have your Kindle with or something, but it's pretty convenient. Sometimes start multiple books, but can only focus on one at a time. Oh, we've got some mixed votes here. Serial killer, dragons, serial killer, dragons. <laughs> Helpful. I like both of those things. Me too. I don't know how to vote. <laughs> like serial killer. Very Sanchez. different. Very different vibes. People actually always end up productive in the couple minutes sprints. Three minutes is getting short though. Yeah, I feel like that was the case when you were talking like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, but not three. A five minute admin sprint also fine, but I can't do I can't even respond to an email in three minutes. Like <laughs> Serial killer dragons. <laughs> Someone but better write this. I need it now. Maria, it's all on you. Someone, someone do it up. Um, yes, there is going to be a weekend readathon. It is it starts the 22nd, right? I don't know. Don't yes, 22nd is the 24th. It's a Friday to Sunday. Is there like a start time on Friday or is it just? I think I said 7 p.m. Eastern, but I just tell people like that's when I'll like start sprints, but you can do it in your time zone. Just 48 hours. That's really all that matters. That weekend. You can't do it like another weekend, but that weekend is good. Gotcha. Same. I'm saving up some shorter books. I was originally going to read, because this one's pretty short, I was originally going to read this one for the weekend readathon, but I just didn't want to wait. I will say. I have a different, I have a different TBR set up for the um, weekend readathon. The team that won last year went ham in the weekend readathon, and I think that's why they won. That's good to know. Maybe I should add some more books. <laughs> I have, so that Sunday, I have a Lord of the Rings extended edition movie marathon at the theater. (laughs) It's like 12 hours of watching uh, watching those movies. Dang. So I'll lose out on that time. So I might like start earlier on Friday because I have the day off. That's when my spring break starts. So I might start earlier on Friday so that I can end it before that happens. That's fair. Serial dragon killers. <laughs> Make me laugh. Um, I will be kind of participating in peace talks, but also have law prom. That's so insane. I might be out of commission. I never have so, law. 
when I click on the comment, it, the words are so small on my screen. I almost read that as law porn. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, star. <laughs> and you I two want, put that through. <laughs> I do really want pictures of you, though, at law prom. I need to see the it. Prom, <laughs> not porn. Not law porn. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, I know her. She's going to look so good. I know. <laughs> trying so hard right now <laughs> join me <laughs> except for you have law prom <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> she can make it back in time <laughs> yeah there I love the Lord of the Rings movies but the extended editions are so long and like the back to back to back I'm honestly like nervous because like it's at a Love theater me. so at least it's like the dream lounger so they like recline back and stuff for like nice seats but My I mean I've seen those movies a lot so it's not like if I have to like get up and walk around or go to the bathroom I'm gonna be missing information like I know what happens but my sister and her roommate do this like every two months but they also do the hobbit as well so they do like six of those Ooh. in a day and i'm like what is wrong with all of you that's <laughs> like, insane that's too much at once <laughs> yeah that's insane and they do it often and they just sit there and they like quote the movies and they're just they get really drunk and it's really funny but um <laughs> too many movies that's a lot especially because they're like so freaking long Honestly, yeah. ha doing it at home i feel like is better because you don't have to deal with like people like talking through the movies because i know that there's going to be people that clap when things happen and i hate that so <laughs> much so <laughs> i would rather do it at home but yeah i don't like to go to movies because i'm a talker um so i like to watch it at home so i can talk <laughs> yeah or like you can pause talk. it whenever you need to yeah. like if you have to go to the bathroom mm -hmm. you can pause it mm -hmm. dinner break whatever yeah <laughs> not law <long> porn <laughs> Um, we're going to start working Saturdays next week, so that will cut into readathon read time. Yeah, that's a bummer. I'm really excited for the weekend readathon, though. It's a fun time. We go ham. I mean, I go ham for the month, but we go extra ham for that weekend. <laughs> Ours was also at the theater, not with reclining seats, though, but we got breaks and snacks in between. Yeah, there's, like, a whole restaurant at this theater as well. So, like, we'll just order food. And, like, you can even, like, order it on the app and they'll deliver it into the theater to your seat if you yeah. want to. So, mm -hmm. we might be doing that. But I, I'll probably use it as an excuse to get up and walk around because sitting for that long, mm -hmm. I can't do it. I'm excited for you. You'll have to tell us how it goes. Yeah. My attention span is barely long enough for one movie, let alone six. Yeah, yeah there's no I'm way. I'm like like that for one movie, but not six. No way, six. I'm a pauser and a talker too, so getting through a 40 minute episode takes at least an hour. <laughs> Sandria. <laughs> oh, yeah, because she got back from a uh, massage. Hey, that sounds so nice. <laughs> New names. Everyone's getting new names. <laughs> Ellen. Melon. Never live in it now. Never happened. It's fine. I love it. It's not even something you did, so it's hilarious. <laughs> no, but honestly, now every time I type my email for my channel, I see it. And I can't unsee it. And I read it as Melon reads every time now. Channel name needs to be changed, apparently. <laughs> Just change like the capitalization so it all yeah. works together. Capitalize the O and then the R. <laughs> it just it, the fact that I just read it in my head that way too, and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to start a new sprint. If everybody else is down, <laughs> Hannah's like, okay, we've talked far <laughs> too long. <laughs> Talk for an appropriate amount of time. Let's read. <laughs> Let's go. All right, let's go 45 minutes again.
Hello. How was everyone's sprint? Well, it was good. I read like three chapters. There you go. Triple what you read last time. <laughs> <laughs> Concentrated more this time. Ooh, I'm 42% into Powerless. What's happening? <laughs> good, good things? Yeah, I'm just like, it's fun. I feel like that's all you can really say yeah, about it. I agree. Yeah, it's like not that deep. Um, I read, I don't know where my Kindle went, but I got past the halfway point. That, that's all I know. Nice. My mom called right at the beginning of that sprint, and I talked to her for well over half of that time, so I, I didn't get as much reading done, but like, I don't know, 10 pages maybe, but that's okay. Ooh, someone finished Spy Family. I hope you liked it. I really like that manga series. Just waking up, going to be reading Kingdom of Ash. Lots of people are reading Kingdom of Ash right now, I feel like. Currently reading The Drift. 64 more pages of Vows and Ruins. I'm over here giggling and kicking my feet. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I mean, you just started Blood and Steel. You're flying through those. I wonder, Emmy, did you read Blood and Steel and then slaying the Shadow Prince and then Vows and Ruins? Or did you not read Slaying the Shadow Prince? I don't know. I think I'm trying to remember if Emmy did Slaying first or not. Yeah, I can't remember. I think she did. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> It, it, 40 it, it, pages, 33 pages, <laughs> had a girl dinner, watched some YouTube, and prepared the upcoming week in my planner. You'll get to this eventually, but she confirmed blood and steel, then slaying. Okay. okay. Um, finished nestlings, just love his author's notes. He does have the best author notes. Who wrote this? Um, Matt Cassidy. Matt, yeah, Matt Cassidy. Oh, okay. 121 pages mm -hmm. of Defiant, 48 pages read, 27 pages read. We're killing it. I love it. Put on laundry and chatted on my phone, but focus sprint next. Nice. 53 pages of Skyward. Only 100 pages left now. You can do it. 67% into you or someone like you. Made it to page 220 of The Hollow Dead. 79 pages to go. Here it is. Yep. <laughs> Red, Blood, and Steel, then Slaying the Shadow Prince. 25% um, of How to Solve Your Own Murder. Wait, Monica, did you finish the non two star book? I don't remember. <laughs> did you it? <laughs> oh, no. She says, she has a comment literally two seconds down. Okay. <laughs> I have an answer. No. <laughs> Next up, I'm either switching to The Haunting of Velkwood or Building a Bookcase. I don't have a feeling you be building a bookcase. <laughs> Is it Matt's bookcase? Because make Matt build it then. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah there you go. For yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Um, don't know how many pages, but really enjoying Crimson Moth and I grabbed some lunch. Yeah, I really like that one. I think I'm going to read it next after this one. Mm -hmm. I might go buy it tomorrow. Yeah. Plus, because it's your creation this week, it's like the perfect book for it because it's got an animal and it's blue. Yes, it is. Um, 48 pages of Book of Azrael. Up to 38% in Only a Monster. It has gotten much more interesting. Not what, not what I was expecting. Girl Forgotten, 36%. Going to bed in the next sprint unless it's three minutes. <laughs> I will be listening to Whole Justice Sleeps, my Stacey Abrams next sprint. Oh, by Stacey Abrams next sprint. Libby is about to snatch it back. Oh, wild, wild Justice Sleeps. I'm like, I should look at the comments before just plowing through. You know what? When you're reading comments on like that uh -huh. end, that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, it's Matt's bookcase, but I've built the rest of them. So it'll be much faster if I do it. This feels like Fair. bad girl math because it may be faster <laughs> if you do it, but not faster for yourself because yeah, you don't have still to do doing it. it. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't do it at all, that's much faster. <laughs> yeah. But if you're going to feel guilty and help him, I do understand this thought process. Yeah. Um, only read about four pages of Midnight Rooms, but I did make homemade bagels. Oh, that sounds really good. I could just like smell the bread. <laughs> um, I want my Crimson Moth hold to come in now. I liked the audiobook too. I have the That's audiobook, good. but now I'm going to wait for Cassie to read it and hope it becomes a favorite. And I can get <laughs> oh, bonus. good idea. Good I'm idea. Strategy now. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll wait. Um, I thought Blood and Steel was a trilogy, but I'm seeing a book four on Kindle. I've been baited. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can listen to an audiobook while I build it at least. There you go. Double productive. Should I read The Marriage Act by John Mars or King um, and the Dragonflies by Kaysen Callender? The magic, act, the marriage act, not the magic act. The marriage act. <laughs> the magic act. <laughs> that sounds like a good one. I, I just like it. John Mars' is one book that I've read, so that's why my vote's going there. I haven't heard of either of these books, so I wouldn't be like a well-informed vote. <laughs> but I'll go with Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm always right. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no face. Please do this. <laughs> yes, the team creation yeah, strategy. I love it. Strategy. For this readathon, Cassidy is always right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the time, though. Not just this readathon, every readathon. <laughs> just during the month of Realmathon, she's always right. Every other time, though. Revoke card. No. Always wrong. <laughs> always wrong. <laughs> I, think, the next I think I have to head out. I have got to go help the mom, but thank you guys for having me. I read a little, not a lot, but a little. I don't know if I'll get done by tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> Glad we had some team shadows rep. Yeah, I'm going to leave you all in the hands of the creator. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Let's go creation. Woo! <laughs> I think that's my cue. <laughs> I'm out. Marsha said, "Buy melon." You're right, Monica. The melon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was saying, I think that the next sprint we do will probably be the last one for today. I need to. Is anybody else you. sprinting like tonight or anything? undecided yet there may be impromptu okay. sprints at some point but nothing is okay. set <laughs> i know tori has sprints tomorrow mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. tune in for those um i'll just start stalking Kaz's goodreads waiting for a new four or five star to pop up <laughs> yeah i really wanted blood mercy to work out because i know that that's a fave i dnf or that too I saw, I saw you dnf that and i was like same that one I get though. Like that one, like, I don't know why I like it. Like I literally am like, this is as everything that I say I don't like in books, and yet somehow yeah. it works for me. It was it was the exact same reasons why I DNF'd when the moon hatched, though. Was that it was just like a lot of world building right in the beginning. And mm -hmm. I just like I have to care. I have to care. I have to be intrigued. That's and I was fair. Just so bored. It felt like reading a textbook. The epic, epic fantasy reader in me doesn't care about that. So I think yeah. that makes sense to me. Um, yeah, like, I just thought I got three books into Wheel of Time. That's all world building. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah. Like, I'm just not, I'm not sophisticated enough for that kind of writing. So <laughs> oh, don't say that. But yeah, I know um, Rachel from Raven Haired Reader, she was she loved when the moon hat she gave it five stars and was like it's a new favorite and i was like okay so should i give it a second chance and she was like yes it's so good and i was like okay because the first hundred pages were so boring and she was like maybe you won't then because the first 50 <laughs> pages was when she was like i'm loving this i need to annotate it and i was like oh complete opposite reaction because yeah. i was like don't care get to the get to the story 
which you and Rachel are pretty similar normally. So, like, I think that's interesting. Yeah, I feel like our fantasy romance, though, is not very similar. Because, like, we're like a Venn diagram. Like, okay, yeah, I see that. Bit, but there's a lot of them that we have complete opposite opinions on. Because she hated Powerless. I know. Like, and was, wow. like, actively, like, don't read it, Hannah. You're going to hate it. And I loved it. Yeah, but you so. also hated Fourth Wing. <laughs> I, and she loved it, though. I hated Fourth Wing, and then she loved it. Maybe I'm oh. your little middle circle. <laughs> yeah, you say you love You're, both. Yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> there we go. Go creation. Yeah. Um. Now I can show off my dual nature. Is Realmathon a once a year or twice a year readathon? At this moment Just in time, it's once a year. I have never confirmed or denied that it will not happen twice a year, one year, but at this point, once a year is enough. <laughs> a lot. I can just, it's just so much work for you to like create it all and like the whole I month really, long, you're so busy. I really want to create a two week readathon at some point. Oh. Probably not with Ramathon related, but I think a two week that's like a lot more chill than what yeah. this is, not competitive, yeah. would be a lot of fun to have. Because I love readathons. Like, I'm obsessed with them. So. Readathons are so fun. Yeah. There was, like, a span where it was, like, every, there was not a single, like, break. I think that was, like, two years ago. It was, like, I saw Realmathon, like, a week into Realmathon. I was, like, oh, my God, I'm joining it. And then there was another one right after that and another one right mm -hmm. after that. And I was, like, let's go. I think it was Realm whatever and then Quest that year yeah i think and that was that was a lot three in a row is a lot yeah. <laughs> that was a lot i still think it's a lot that you did 72 hours and then you started this the next week yeah, yeah that was a lot <laughs> uh never again we have said in our group chat that 72 hours has to be like a good like three weeks before any yeah. month <laughs> really i agree you get a little bit of a break <laughs> I know. I know you were excited for me to read it. I'm sorry. Just not for me. Um, I listened to it on audio, so. This is what Maria messaged me and told me this, so maybe I will try it one day. Yeah. It's, just, I, it's I such a long the series. Audio. It's such a long series. All the books are big. I'm like, do I really want to get into this right now? That's yeah. kind of what I was like. Once I decided, like, I just can't, <laughs> can't keep going, I was like, there's eight books and they're all like 600 or more pages long i just couldn't there's yeah. a lot of like slice of life happening in them too i will say like i liked it and i was here for it but like if you, if you don't love it then no <laughs> i read a thought only happens on leap years you should Curly. make a leap year one that would be funny it's too late now leap day is gone four years from now We'll yeah, four years from now. Start planning now. <laughs> <laughs> there are way to world build in a way that readers can or care and are intrigued. Yeah, I agree. I finished that one stupid book three minutes into the sprint, then switched over to the one thriller, 44 pages. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> A year long Realmathon. Don't tempt me, Monica. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would Honestly, be insane. I, just have one I wouldn't put it past part. you, Cassidy, though. Like, if anybody yeah, could do like it, now, it would be you. Yeah. And now yeah, I have yeah. ideas. Why would anyone do this to me? Don't talk about <laughs> things in front of me that are jokes. They become reality. 2025 <laughs> might be <laughs> the year of Realmathon. The year of Realmathon. Once a year, but plenty of other fun readathons. Escape the readathon, Battleathon, Once Upon a Readathon, Rillium. I haven't done a Rillium. I did it when it was what was it called before that? The it magical. magical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did that one year, but I haven't done a Rillium in a long time. Yeah, and I think that one you have to like keep up on stuff. It's way too organized for me. Yeah, that one's super organized. <laughs> I did a year-long challenge and it was hard with five people. Quest will make a comeback. <laughs> it will, Sahar, when you're not so busy. <laughs> Tempted to pick up Blood Mercy next, but I have a lot of Dark Academia books to get to. 
yeah, long series. Give me all the time with my favorite characters. That's how I feel about um, like Sarah J. Mass books. I don't care how long those series are. Because I was like, oh, Blood Mercy series, eight books long. And literally <laughs> Throne of Glass, my favorite series is eight books long. <laughs> um, but yeah, like a lot of people's complaints about A Court of Frost and Starlight was that it's like a pointless little novella. Like, why was this even made? It was just a cash grab. And I'm like, I got to spend time with my favorite characters over Christmas. Okay. Yeah, I loved every second of it. I did not read it. I skipped it. I was like, this is stupid. I'm not reading it. <laughs> That's, I mean, like, if you're not, like, invested, like, if you're not there for the characters, then mm -hmm. you're not going to enjoy it. If you love the characters and you just want to see them, like, on the page again, it's incredible. Yeah. But, yeah, if you're not, like, if you, like, don't care about their, like, you know. What I enjoy about that one specifically is no one has ever told, I feel like no one says it's mandatory. I feel like normally when something like that happens, there are readers who were like no you still have to read it and that one everyone was like no nah, you can just skip it if you're not interested yeah i i feel like when it first came out it was like a, you have to read this before you can go into the next like spin-off akatar book and so people were like picking it up and they were like okay mm -hmm. i don't really see how this is gonna bridge i don't know but like yeah i don't think i don't think it's mandatory i personally it's mandatory for me yeah <laughs> But like if a if somebody's reading it for the first time, like do I have to? Like depends on if you think you'll like it. Yeah. Um, I really like Blood Mercy. I got to chat with fellow Roth with my book club, and I immediately mm. bought all the rest of the books in the series. They're so pretty. They're. Also, like I just love the way the paperback feels, like the size of it, the floppiness, the sound it makes. I just love everything about it, but <laughs> not the inside. <laughs> Cass could do it. If anybody can do a year-long readathon, it's Cass. I agree. Ooh, every month you move to a new realm. Or like on a train. Unlock some, unlock oh, some powers. <laughs> An old man cat. <laughs> yeah, he's Nikki. just he's so sweet. Look at him. Yes. Frost and Starlight. So good. <laughs> there's no plot it's just vibes yeah it's definitely just winter holiday vibes Sahar I feel like this is my conic team up about to happen <laughs> that would be so cool guys start planning it quest a realm <laughs> it's cute quest a realm <laughs> that's happening that's it's gonna happen You've done it now. You've said it. Now it's going to happen. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Let's do our final sprints. That's all. That's all I have to say. <laughs> let's do it.
I've literally just finished a chapter right like right as it ended. That's the best. Yeah. That's a good feeling. I read a little bit and I think I am going to go to chapters. <laughs> cool. And buy a copy. Yeah, because I know that Daniela Jensen just put out something that they're starting second print runs. Yeah. So I'm we like, I have it right here. Yeah, so I was like, I am going to go get a first edition. Right. Another one I can wait to see if it's a favorite. I would I would assume so. Yeah. At 20%, so. Fun. I listen to more Powerless. There you go. <laughs> fun that's all i could say it's fun I, I, I like the banter's like kind of cheesing but i kind of love it you know that kind yes. of thing. yeah <laughs> it's like maybe i should hate this but i kind of love it so. yes yeah. i was gonna agree with that i was like why am i loving this but i'm loving it <laughs> like i don't think i'd want to be in this situation with like i think he i'd probably roll my eyes at him but i love it for her mm, yes it's like when people say like, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't with that book. Like I get it, but yeah. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, lots of people left us to go to bed. Good night, people. You're probably already asleep, but <laughs> dinner time for Emmy. Not much reading, but did make a poached egg brunch. Read 55%. That was really really good uh 91 pages of soul binder 100 pages oh left i was like holy crap sorry you read 100 pages but 100 pages left of throne of glass um read about 50 pages read four pages about halfway through building my bookshelf and i've been having karaoke hour i was gonna read karate <laughs> Karaoke hour instead of audio booking. Oops. I would love to see Monica trying to build a bookshelf while doing karate. Doing karate. <laughs> <laughs> How are you liking it so yeah. far, Kristen? I understand what Cassidy's saying. It's like you're kind of scared to recommend it. Yeah. Like I was like, don't read this because like I loved it, but like it's not a good, like it's not. A it's a good book, but it's not a good book. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. hard to know. I could see it going either way. Mm -hmm. 40 pages read, 53 pages That makes me nervous. Read. That makes me nervous. <laughs> uh, did not read, did my evening routine journaling, and we'll go to bed now. Thank you guys for joining. I mean, fighting off the cats is basically karate sometimes. I know. I don't know. Like, I'm, like, leaning forward, like, uh, you know, like, I'm blind because it's so small on my screen. Like, what does that even say? To, help, myself, to help Hannah is I read Monica's message in my head and I said, I mean, fighting off the cats is basically karate sometimes. <laughs> karate. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, God. Yeah, it's it's hard sometimes to read. <laughs> yeah, as readers, as readers, we struggle. <laughs> Getting out loud and in my head, very different. One hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know how to say a word sometimes, but actually saying it, mm -hmm. like oh, two different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, quick question before we leave. Just wondering yeah. if you can join Realmathon late. Yes, join it. You can put in all the books you've already read this month as well for your team. You can backlog everything. Um, so join, join away. Join team creation. I'm going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> join the little bees. Yes, our little hive. Also, I'm very excited once I buy this that I'll be able to use the blue bookmark with it. I was like angry today that I didn't oh. have a physical book oh, yeah, to true. put my bookmark into. <laughs> I finally am using my team Here, the creation loyalty. bookmark uh, the blue all right well thank you everyone so much for joining us for these sprints keep your eyes peeled though if there will be some impromptu sprints later possibly not guaranteed but maybe mm -hmm. and then don't forget tori is having sprints over on her channel tomorrow in the morning i think it's like 10 30 eastern time i think that sounds right um and then after tori is 
stuff. So we pretty much have all day sprints tomorrow as well. Nice. Sweet. Love that. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Have a good rest of your day.